The hottest trend in home gardening right across the world is one that's now starting to take place right across the metropolitan area here in Perth. You see, everywhere people are turning their unproductive gardens into productive gardens, providing them with fresh produce from fruit trees, herbs, and of course, things like berries and vines. Now, why wouldn't you, when you hear stories about supermarkets cold storing apples for two years before they hit the shelf, it's crazy. Or even worse, imported fruit coming from overseas that's been dipped in chemicals to get rid of bugs and then irradiated. Why would you do that when you can grow your own fresh produce right at home? It's highly likely that if you've already got a fruiting plant of some sort, that it's come from this place, Taswan Trees in Middle Swan. Now this nursery is simply amazing because you really start to get your head around just how many different types of fruit are available for a home garden in Perth. Joe Tassoni has started moving from his old Baskerville site to this new retail location in Middle Swan, but he wholesales his trees across the metro area, so you'll find them in good garden centres everywhere. So I asked Joe for his top five fruit trees for Perth Gardens. These are beautiful. They're also a big tree, but you can also get these in dwarf, different varieties, and uh, lovely to eat. And these are mangoes. And right around Perth at the moment, people are picking beautiful, up to a kilo-sized fruit. What variety is this? This is a Kensington Pride. Mate, number four? Eureka Lemon. Everybody's got to have a lemon tree in the backyard. They do. Now, these can get pretty big. There's other options. I mean, if you've got a bit of room, fantastic. If you don't, you could espalier it against a tree or plant a uh, dwarf or a semi-dwarf mm -hmm. and that'll be fine in your courtyard in a pot. Oh, Joe, I know this one really well. Acerola or Barbados cherry. This is a sensational plant. It has a little cherry-sized fruit, but each fruit has 30 times the vitamin C of an orange. It certainly has, and it's certainly uh, something you must have in your garden. It's number three on my list, mm -hmm. and if you look after this tree, it'll look after you. Number two on my list is the lychee. Oh, Joe, look, I tell you what, I love this fruit, and a lot of people have tried lychee in the Chinese restaurant as a dessert, something that's come out of a tin. There's nothing like it fresh, is there? No comparison whatsoever. Every backyard really, really should have one. Quick tip, best way to grow them. A really nice, well-drained soil, mm -hmm. plenty of organics, and um, shelter them for the first year or so just to help them climatise to your area. And after that, these are marcotted, so within, uh, within one to two years, you start eating fruit. So, this is number one on the list. It is, it's a Hass avocado. And these trees are sensational. Avocados are a superfood, very expensive to buy. How many fruit would this produce say, after three or four years? Uh, anywhere from 20 to 30. And buy 10? Or oh, hundreds. Who said money doesn't grow on trees? Autumn is the best time of the year to plant a fruit tree of any sort. The mild growing conditions, warm soil and good soil moisture levels encourage trees to establish quickly. Joe's nursery is home to thousands of trees, including the more obvious deciduous trees like apples, peaches and pears and citrus. But it's his exotic fruit that really get me excited. If you've got a little bit of room in your backyard, I guarantee you there's room to grow a fruit tree and you'll be able to get that fruit tree right here at Tasman Trees. Now, you can get all sorts of things and look, when you think about fresh fruit is the fastest growing expense in the household budget, why wouldn't you grow your own at home? You could even try something a bit weird and wonderful like this Buddha's hand citron. Something different.